What's up everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Retail Nightmares. Tonight on Retail Nightmares, we take a look at angry customers versus the employees. These are moments where the customers don't get their way and they lose it at the employees. Now we have a lot of terrible customers to get through, so we've got to jump right into it. Okay, so this male Karen was being a really tough customer at the subway and when his sub was made, he demanded that she put the sub back into the oven for another two seconds. This Karen started belittling the employee, calling her an idiot among other things and just abusing her for not assuming what he wanted on his sandwich. This is one of the worst customers I have ever seen and this Karen wasn't happy with how long it took him to get his sub so he started abusing this employee for this reason. This Karen called her stupid, questioned her intelligence and when he realized he was being recorded he walked up to the girl who was recording him and slapped her phone out of her hands then threatened to slap her as well. Let's have a look. And your man. Can so I go please ahead, have a six get my foot? face. My name is You can Google me, you can Spotify me, Instagram me. I will slap this lady if she touches me again. Point blank period. And that's exactly how it's gonna go. Okay. Now let's keep her keep my name. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to, to order my sandwich. Okay, Please. we have a problem. Okay, so this Karen was inside of a Costco and basically this Karen refused to wear a mask and was refused service. This Karen was livid and was going off at the employee, demanding a full refund for the membership cost immediately, claiming that she was done with Costco and just wanted out of their membership policy. And even went as far as to claim that them denying her service is a complete violation of her rights until this Karen was served with the governor's mask mandate policy, which left her speechless. This Karen was humiliated in front of every everybody and several Costco staff members as well because everybody had to get involved because this Karen was being so difficult and refused to leave the store. They even bring in their policies and procedures to which this Karen argues that she's exempt from them because apparently this Karen has a medical condition that prevents her from wearing a mask. That wasn't going to fly with the Costco staff though and they told her to leave the store and that she wasn't going to get a refund for her membership because she quite simply wasn't following the policies which are outlined on the website. Let's have a look. If you're not going to let us shop, you're violating the terms of our membership agreement. Nowhere in our membership agreement does it say we have to wear a mask to shop in Costco. Okay? There is nothing in your membership agreement. As a matter of fact, I want a full, re a full refund for our membership. Everybody else needs to stand up too. You do. Sorry, we bought our membership. It did not say that you had to wear a mask to shop at Costco. There isn't any hell. Okay. There isn't. <laughs> okay. It's a lie. Okay. I am not sick. It is There's not a no lie. You're a liar because you don't work at a hospital. You don't see the effect of patients. You know the patients. people that work at hospitals are the most ignorant of all. Oh, oh really? Yes, they are. Okay. okay. You know there okay. are doctors all over the internet talking about how Please. masks do nothing. You people are all a bunch of. Yeah. Ooh, look at Wake up. Wake up. Yes, it's my job to make sure my okay, so this Karen was kicked off this flight for not wearing a mask. This Karen wouldn't wear a mask and actually believes the virus isn't a big deal because everybody is going to die eventually anyway, so she didn't want to alter her life to cater for the virus. This Karen refused to wear a supplied mask because of this reason, and that was a problem with the airline because they are mandatory on a flight. This Karen is then removed from the flight and starts coughing over everybody out of rage, as well as spitting on them and abusing them too on her way out of the flight. Let's have a look. Everybody dies, you know that. Everybody dies. I guess we could. 
Okay, so this Karen was abusing the staff and mocking them for their appearance as well. This Karen started claiming that she was an exceptional customer, but she was just giving a bad customer experience, and that's why she's abusing the staff. This Karen justified abusing the staff because apparently she received bad customer service because otherwise she is an exceptional customer. This Karen demanded her items immediately and started threatening the employees, yelling at the top of her lungs at them, and then claiming they were slandering her and that she would sue them. This Karen started getting really aggressive with the employees and actually started calling not just the employee but also other customers in the store some of the worst names in the book and then she was even so upset that she wished death upon both of them too let's have a look you doing her in the bed aren't you oh did i just call something out and i might be right no, I'm you better shut you got go ahead I'm and then tell them how much of a jerk you are i'm very busy because i lost my chance when i got and i wasn't paid for it but you couldn't help me with that could you by all means you suck at customer service I was exceptional. You weren't. The f I wasn't. You weren't. I had quality scores that will make you blush. So shut up. Yeah. You don't know my history. You haven't seen my resume, you judgmental. Your eyes You're a me. judgmental, Bob. I'm, I'm what a about Bob? Give me my products now. Where's my stuff? Give me my now. I paid for it. You better give it up now. I want my receipt, though. I am not you lying! You are a liar! Okay, so this Karen was forced to pay a late fee for her parking because basically she had parked in a parking lot that cost money and she was well over her due time there. This was enough to make the Karen snap at the employee who wouldn't waive her parking fee because she had quite literally overparked in a premium parking spot. This Karen snapped and started abusing the employee and actually told him that his wife is a W word, calling the employees garbage and even telling them to learn how to speak proper English, among a lot of other abuse. All because this Karen parked in a paid parking spot and they wouldn't waive the parking fee. Let's have a look. English. Why don't you learn how to speak English? Learn how to speak English. Learn how to speak English. Learn how to speak English. I know you can't speak English. You're an idiot. Yeah, you're garbage. You're garbage. You're garbage. Look at how much of a loser you are. That's what you do. You stand here all day and you swipe cards, you garbage. You're garbage. Okay, so this employee at a convenience store was actually holding up the entire line and the reason being is because a customer who was serving had different political views than him. This was enough reason for the gentleman behind the counter to hold up the entire line and start calling the customer a dog among other things because he had different political views. The employee was so upset at this customer that he was wasting all of the time of the other customers and just refusing to serve them while he abused this customer and told him that he wasn't welcome there. Let's have a look. Hey, for real, for real, I'm not even playing. Like, when you go to my house, bro, you gotta park, like, right there on the door. When you get out, put your hoodie on. Don't let people see your face, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, we don't allow people like you on my block. You heard me? Like, for real, for real. I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. You know what I mean? Like, for real, when Trump went today, I'm really gonna send a letter talking about how you a traitor of the country. You a traitor, bro. How you want Biden to win? I'm sorry, mommy. Hey, you just... and you... Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have enjoyed today's episode, please remember to subscribe and to turn notifications on.